React. Let's start with the king of front-end frameworks, React. Technically, React is a library, not a full framework. It was created by Facebook in 2013, and it completely changed how we build web apps. Before React, developers had to reload entire pages for tiny changes. React solved that with a concept called the virtual DOM, basically a super efficient copy of the real web page that updates only the parts that change. It's built around components, little building blocks of UI that you can reuse everywhere. Think of each button, navbar, or card as its own mini app with its own logic and style. React's biggest strength? Flexibility. You can combine it with anything. Backend APIs, state managers like Redux or Zustand, and even frameworks like Next.js for server-side rendering. Downside? You have to make a lot of decisions yourself. Routing, data fetching, folder structure. React doesn't tell you how. It gives you freedom, sometimes too much freedom. Angular. Now meet Angular, the heavyweight of front-end frameworks. Unlike React, Angular is a full framework. It was made by Google, and it gives you everything out of the box. Routing, HTTP services, form handling, dependency injection, you name it. Angular is written in TypeScript, which makes your code more predictable and scalable, but also more complex to learn for beginners. Angular uses something called two-way data binding, which means changes in your UI instantly reflect in your code and vice versa. It's great for large enterprise level apps where you need structure and reliability. But yeah, it can feel a bit strict and hand-headed if you're just building something small. Angular is like the professor of front-end frameworks. Powerful, structured, but a little demanding. Vue. Next up is Vue.js. If React is freedom and Angular is structure, Vue sits beautifully in between. Created by Evan Yu, a former Google engineer, Vue took inspiration from both React and Angular and simplified them. You can start with just a simple script tag, no setup, no stress. Vue uses a reactive data model, meaning the interface automatically updates when the data changes, no extra code needed. It also uses directives like vif or v4 that make your HTML feel alive and smart. And the best part? Vue is beginner-friendly. It's one of those frameworks that just makes sense. Developers love how readable it is and how it scales smoothly from small personal projects to full production apps. If frameworks were personalities, Vue is the friendly middle ground. Simple, approachable, but still powerful. Svelte. Now let's talk about the underdog that's been stealing attention. Svelte. Unlike React, Angular, or Vue, Svelte does something bold. It shifts the heavy lifting from the browser to the build step. In other words, Svelte compiles your code at build time, meaning your app runs faster and uses less JavaScript once deployed. There's no virtual DOM, no runtime overhead. The syntax is super clean. You write code that looks like plain HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, and it magically becomes a reactive app. Svelte feels refreshing, especially for developers tired of huge bundles and complex setups. It's young, but its performance and simplicity make it a strong contender for the future of front-end development. Next.js. Okay, React by itself is just the view layer, but Next.js takes React to the next level. It's a framework built on top of React that adds server-side rendering, static site generation, and powerful routing. With Next.js, your website loads faster because pages can be pre-rendered on the server before being sent to the browser. It's amazing for SEO, dynamic content, and hybrid apps that need both front-end and back-end logic. Think of Next.js as the bridge between React and full-stack web apps. It's what powers some of the biggest websites you use every day. Nuxt.js if Next.js is for React, then Nuxt.js is for Vue. It brings the same server-side rendering magic, 
automatic routing, and improved SEO, but for Vue developers. It's like a supercharged version of Vue that makes production apps easier and more scalable. Nuxt also offers static site generation, API routes, and modular plugins, all while keeping that smooth Vue developer experience. If you love Vue but want power features, Nuxt is your best friend, Remix. Now, Remix is another modern React-based framework focused on performance and data handling. It encourages you to use web standards, meaning you rely less on custom APIs and more on the native web platform. Remix fetches and renders data before the page loads, so navigation feels instant. It's like Next.js, but with a bigger focus on progressive enhancement and clean server-side data flow. Developers love it because it blends front-end and back-end logic beautifully. Astro. And finally, Astro. Astro is the minimalist among modern frameworks. It's designed for content-heavy websites, blogs, docs, marketing pages, where performance matters more than interactivity. Its magic trick is it ships zero JavaScript by default. You can use React, Vue, or Svelte inside Astro, but only the parts you need actually load. That's why Astro sites are lightning fast. It sends HTML, not heavy JavaScript bundles. It's perfect for people who want to mix frameworks and still keep things fast and clean.